Boy, Benny, the reason that people don't like communism or fascism or anyism really is that even though these ideologies seek to stamp out inequalities, what they end up doing is actually creating a protected class with special rights and privileges. Now, those special rights and privileges are often on display, but especially when you look at people like Jimmy Kimmel. Look up in sky and say, what the hell going on up there? So this is Jimmy Kimmel doing blackface. Not just blackface. Black body. Black arms, black feet, black legs. And also, black accent? Interesting how Jimmy Kimmel Interesting how Jimmy Kimmel is able to get away with this, yet he's able to keep a very lucrative career in corporate media. In fact, Jimmy Kimmel made a ton of money off of doing blackface and black bo and entire black body, right? And he's still allowed to remain inside of the public site. Guys, he's never been shaved. Nobody's ever come for Jimmy Kimmel for making money off of blackface. That brings us to an interesting little through line to the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, the Kansas City Chiefs here on this website, you can see this is the KansasCityChiefs.com. This is Chiefs.com. Ooh, probably paid a lot of money for that. Chiefs.com. You can see here that the Chiefs' colors are black and red and white in there. But black and red, when they do their press conferences, you have black background, red Kansas City logo there. Okay? Got some red Kansas City logo there. Got some white, got some black, got some red. Okay, Kansas City Chief. The colors on their jerseys, black, white, red. These are the colors of their jerseys. These are the colors of their stadium. These are the colors of their press conferences. These are the colors of their uh, little TV shows. So you'd assume that their fans would wear black, white, and red. And since their name is the Chiefs, well, maybe something having to do with a chief in Native American headdress and so forth, which is exactly what this fan wore. Yet, Deadspin decided to come for this kid to ruin his life because he is, quote unquote, wearing blackface. Now, besides the point that this image is fake, Okay, what do I mean by that? I'll get into it in just a second. Uh, this kid has every right to wear the colors of his team. Okay? This kid has every right to paint the colors of his team, which happen to be black, red, white, on his face. In whatever arrangement they are, those are the colors of his team. And he's an American, so he has a right to paint his face any color. Have you ever been to Halloween? You ever been to Disneyland? You, you, you ever get been to the circus? Seen people paint their faces? How about going out to uh, like a, a club in any big city and look at how women paint their faces? <laughs> Not the color of their real face, but nonetheless. We live in a free country, so of course this kid has the right. Now, more importantly, what's actually happening here? So Desmond writes, the NFL needs to speak out against Kansas City Chief fan in blackface, native headdress. Now, of course, this makes no sense on its face, LOL, uh, because were the Indians black? I don't understand. What do you mean? So we're, are they saying that this kid is simultaneously insulting Native Americans and black people? Let's go ahead and investigate here. The NFL needs to speak out against Kansas City Chiefs in blackface Native headdress. They're doubling up on the racism. <laughs> Are you going to say anything? Roger Goodell. Karen Phillips is the person who published this piece, and it's still live on the site. It takes a lot of disrespect to groups of people all at once. But on Sunday afternoon in Las Vegas, Kansas City Chiefs found, found a way to hate black people and Native Americans at the same time. That's right. This kid is committing hate against black people and Native Americans. Hmm. Wow. The image of a Chiefs fan wearing 
in blackface wearing a native headdress during a road game leads to so many unanswered questions. Why did the camera person give this fan attention? Why did the producer allow this camera angle to be aired at all? Is this kid, teenager, or a young adult? Despite their age, who taught this person that, that what they were wearing was appropriate? There's no place for a franchise called the Chiefs and a league that's already eradicated the Redskins, says the writer. The answers of all these questions lead back to the NFL. So, of course, they're now going hard against the NFL to try and change the name, which is, of course, the purpose of the article, right? The destruction of everything that has ever come before. Year zero, Marxists, right? Now, here's the trick. This man is lying. It won't come as a shock to you, but this kid didn't actually wear blackface. This kid was wearing the damn colors of his team. And also the iconography of a chief. Imagine trying to purposely ruin a child's life with a hit piece, intentionally misleading. This scumbag. This human garbage key. New photo of the person that's been accused of being a vile racist wore blackface football game. They tried to ruin this kid's life life. Uh, Bobby Burek at uh, OutKick says, I emailed the author after he planned to correct his report about the child. He immediately put out a tweet ba banning comments saying people like me hate Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. To be fair, the author uh, had a troubling life experience. He saw a bunch of white people once. I'm so sick of this racism. I am so, I am so sick. People have had a belly full of it. Deadspin Sports Media falsely framed little kid as a fan in blackface. This kid is wearing the colors of his team, okay? Just like all kids do. This is what a kid regularly looks like. I'm not a big NFL fan, but here we are. Here are the Chiefs. Uh, is the author also upset that Chiefs press conferences look like this? That there is black and red and white in the colors of the team? This is what it looks like to be a fan. Why did Deadspin try and ruin this little kid's life? They're accusing him of blackface, but conveniently left out his full face, which is painted in the game. This seems like a really, really important defamation suit to me. Turns out not only is Karen Phillips trying to destroy this little kid's life with false uh, accusations of blackface, he's actually a racist himself. They always accuse others of what they are guilty of. I'm from Saginaw, spent a lot of time in Flint. I've never seen this many white people in Flint in my life. It is concerning. Oh, okay. Why are white people concerning? Deadspin. Oh, I'm blocked. Uh-oh. Too bad. Too bad. Mr. Phillips here. Racist. NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs in blackface. Black people are shooting each other by the dozens every weekend in Chicago, but let's focus on this. Well, I mean, that's a that's a fact. Go check the FBI crime statistics. It's true. Come get this easy work, community notes. And community notes did come for this piece. This picture is misleading. Other pictures of the child in question showed that the other half is face painted red, black, and being the colors of the team. Shame on you for trying to ruin this young child's life. We hope he sues you for defamation, which he should. Holy S, that ratio. That is a nuclear ratio. Let's go ahead and check. What's it up to now? Oh, yeah, baby. 11,000 comments. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Getting destroyed. Deadspin shamelessly went after a child for wearing blackface in an NFL game. They only told half the story. Literally, it turns out the other half of his face was painted red. That's the colors of the team. This kid will get rich from a defamation lawsuit. Uh, Rogan, DC Trano, is a lawyer. This kid should sue them into oblivion. Dead's been slandered a Chiefs fan by selectively sharing an, a side image of the boy to make it look like he was wearing blackface. But, it, like, again, even if his face was painted, like, that's the colors of the team. What else are you, like, the kid's an American. You would have to prove malice. You would have to prove that the, this little kid who, but judging by the looks of it, I, I don't know, what, 10 years old? 12 years old? This little kid who is not an adult, that's all that matters legally. He's not an adult. You did this to a child. Like, he has the right to wear his team's colors. On his face, what, is there some law against painting your face? I mean, I could argue that what Jimmy Kimmel did is actually, like, m malicious and had mendacity to it. 
to insult Carl Malone, another community notes win, says Elon Musk. Elon Musk going in. Young Chiefs fan apologizes for wearing inappropriate Elizabeth Warren outfit and wearing Trudeau face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, Justin Trudeau actually did that. Just a flashback here. Here's Justin Trudeau in blackface. Here's Justin Trudeau in blackface. Here's Justin Trudeau in blackface. Who are these poor guys? I have to take a photo with him. <laughs> uh, my culture is not your costume, right? Isn't that what you're supposed to say? No articles on Deadspin calling for uh, Elon, uh, for, calling for Justin Trudeau or Elizabeth Warren or Jimmy Kimmel to apologize. Interesting. The media is genuinely so sick and whoever is pushing this story should be in prison. True. Grown ass adult freak journo is doubling down. I would sue him if I were the parents. I fear that they'll performatively apologize because they live in Walmart HR baby world. Look at this. This guy's doubling down. This is the tweet. He blocked me, so I can't show it to you. For the idiots in my mentions who are treating this as some kind of a harmless act because the other side of his place was planted red, I can make the argument that this is even worse. Y'all are the ones who hate Mexicans but wear sombreros on Cinco? Huh? Who are you? This is such an important uh, note here, by the way. Pretending the NFL has some anti-black bias is misleading and delusional. The NFL, the vast majority of players who make up the NFL are black or people of color. Excluding black. I'm not sure why. I mean, I, I, I hate these kind of delineations, but whatever. Same with the NBA. 58%, 74%, 67% WNBA. Nobody's watching that, though. But here you have populations inside of all major sporting leagues uh, that are larger than the population of black Americans. So, I mean, if you really wanted equity, as you all say you do, well, then every single one of these numbers should be 12%. You should cap the number of players at 12% because that's the percentage of black Americans in this country, right? Is that what you want? You want equity based on racial disparity, right? Which is on its face racist, but here we are. Presumably, you would you would then say that everything is a single sports league, which is incredibly lucrative, has mandated racial quotas, right? Interesting how that never happens. It only happens in like education or C-suite corporations, Fortune 500 companies, but not inside of sports leagues. Isn't that curious? Well, because that, of course, would be stupid. I wouldn't be for that. I want to watch an entertaining sporting event, and I want the best team to win, and I want those teams to be inter to be good at what they're doing. So I actually don't, I don't care at all what the color of their skin is. Like, to, like show me a kid that didn't have a Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, or a Michael Jordan poster on their wall. And if, if any of the kids were like, I don't like Michael Jordan because he's black. These people, they are the racist. They are the vicious racist. Deadspin editor and writer, Karen J. Phillips, wrote a defamatory hit piece on a white boy wearing face paint, his team colors, and he used deceptive camera angle to make it look like blackface. At a glance, his past writing show, his entire agenda is to demonize whites. This was a defamation against a minor with malicious intent. The lawsuit is going to be glorious. Karen Phillips, Elon Musk says, is an unapologetic racist and a deceiver. Shame on him. The dude's name is Karen. <laughs> Ryan Tannehill should also sue Karen Phillips. This article is dement demented. Ryan Tannehill's support for a young Titans quarterback depends on if they're white. Look at that. Look at the way this guy writes. Isn't that incredible? Just incredible. Just so, so incredibly. Yeah, not... Karen doesn't have a uh, single problem with, with this leader of Canada. The guy, this guy, the global leader of Canada. Can't find a single thing in his byline against Justin Trudeau. Why? Because he doesn't actually care about blackface. He doesn't even care about black people, white people, or any people. He cares about the message and his agenda and how can he manipulate public opinion and lie in order to get his agenda across the finish line in order to continue to advocate for his own power in order to get more power. That's it. That's why he's seeking to destroy this young man's life. 
media coverage versus reality. The media lies, says Elon Musk. Good for you. Good for everyone. Everyone is standing up against the guy. Kansas City Chief had any decency. They'll honor this kid at the next game. Put him up on the jumb Jumbotron instead of a billionaire pop star. Crank up the music and let the fans go wild. They should do that. Man, that would be awesome. How's it feel knowing that you guys are about to pay this kid for slandering him? Ironically, you're about to pay him reparations. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be great again again if you had racial quotas in sports that it would be a horrible game it wouldn't be like uh, nobody is for that and clearly if you are cheering for professional sports in america um what you're anti-black in the nfl with over 70 percent of the nfl being people of color right if you I guess if you mash all this together, that's what the statistics say. This according to the University of Central Florida Institute of Diversity and Ethics in Sport. Hmm. Well, well, well. And here you are. These are the people that uh, Karen has not yet figured out how to um, attack. Isn't that amazing? This. Here is Howard Stern in literal blackface. Now, this is literal blackface intended to be offensive right there. This is literal blackface. This is literal blackface. This is a kid dressing up uh, for his NFL team. Yet no hit pieces on these leftists wearing blackface, which means it's a privilege. If you are part of a specific club, if you are part of a specific ideology, then this is, of course, your privilege to wear blackface. You get, a, you get to do it. You get to do it. It's okay when we do it, right? Says Paul Joseph Watson. And so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. And luckily, nobody is uh, nobody's going to take this kind of shit anymore. Washington Post settles lawsuit with Nick Sandman after viral March for life controversy. This is uh, Nick Sandman settling a two hundred million dollar lawsuit. I don't think anybody knows how much he actually made. I've heard rumors, but I'm not going to speculate here. So, the Washington Post and CNN both settled with Nick Sandman because he was a minor. And because, of course, they slandered him and tried to destroy his life. So I'm very much looking forward to this kid getting the exact same result. Because these people are trying to destroy your life. Good for you, young man. Stand up. I can't wait to figure out, like, who this kid is. I have my producers looking for him. Stand up for yourself. There is absolutely nothing wrong uh, with you being proud of your sports team. I don't watch the NFL, but didn't the Chiefs just win the Super Bowl? You have every right to be proud of the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. And yes, the Chiefs are a great mascot. You know who's not a great mascot or great leader? People who did actually wear blackface in order to insult people, like Justin Trudeau when he was asked by two little black girls about it. So Laura, do you want to stand up and ask a question? What did you paint your face brown? Ooh, um, it was something I shouldn't have done because it hurt people. Um, it's not something that, uh, you, you should. And do. his legs uh, and, and his arms. something that I learned. I didn't know it back then, but I know it now. And I'm sorry I hurt people. But did you paint your nose and your hands, Brown? Your mm -hmm. nose and your hands? <laughs> yeah. And it was the wrong thing to do. Oh, really? Okay. Well, have you ever suffered the consequences? Just uh, will. And Deadspin will. I'm getting Gawker vibes here, man. Remember how Gawker was sued into oblivion? Those are the kind of vibes I'm getting. This is gonna be delicious. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know where I can donate to this kid's legal defense. It's your boy, Benny, protecting little kids out here. See ya.